Am I getting the adaptations I want or am I just learning to suffer better? Uh, for most of us, uh, we've learned that um, suffering more is kind of our way of checking off things. Um, and that does not mean adaptability is occurring. So we need to take into account that sometimes those two things are very off. And when I say that, I mean that from a physiological standpoint, even a mechanical standpoint, or even a mental or your state standpoint, are you actually making progressions or are we just staying the same? This is the kind of old tutelage that we went after years ago with the long slow distance approach where if I'm just continuing to run long and slow at the same pace, I can't expect to get any faster. Sure, you might go longer, but that's already been proven that you don't necessarily need to go long to go long. You can actually work at shorter stuff, make adaptations along the way that'll actually allow for you to go longer. Um, and so this doesn't even encompass just endurance. This could encompass weightlifting. This can encompass a lot of things, but there's so many variables in getting an adaptation to something that if you're always making tweaks to uh, ideas around performance, take a CO2 say take your CO2 tolerance, like applying nasal breathing to something, it may take a month or so, but after that, you should see remarkable increases in adaptation to not only your health, your mind, your state, your physiology, but even your mechanics. And so if those things are improving, we know we're getting an adaptive response, right? And I should be. So I should be improving consistently and not just plateauing. Um, Bruce Lee kind of nailed that concept years ago where you never get stuck in a plateau. You must keep moving forward.